right, guys. Happy Friday. So today, probably won't be doing any gig apps, and I actually don't have any jobs for any direct shippers today. But what I do have is a request from one of my personal clients that I got off a of Task Rabbit. I've helped them a couple times, move some stuff here and there. The last job I helped them was very, very demanding. I had to pretty much help him clean out a house from his boss because he was selling a house where he wanted all of his old furniture. So today I'm going to be helping him bring the furniture or some of the furniture that he got from his boss from his storage unit to his house. And I have requested that he hire another person from TaskRabbit to help us because that stuff is like solid wood. It is extremely heavy and I can't do that stuff alone and he's not really a big person so he probably won't be much help either so I'm supposed to be meeting him at the stores by 11 o'clock right now it's 9 59 it's not gonna take me down to get to the storage I'm just leaving early so I can like catch up on some sleep because lately I've been waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning just so I can shoot videos for my second channel so let the day begin so I'm going down a highway right now and Delivered just sent me a big catering order that I can't take. It's for $120.59, but it's picking it up from Freehold. I'm going nowhere near that and it's for $11.20. This is the time. I think it's the end of the me right now. Four, five, one, five, two, nine. All right, y'all, so we here. I've actually been here for like half an hour and he has too, it's just, I messaged him that I was here already and he didn't get the message, so I've been wasting my time here. Oh well, we here already, so let's get to work.
y'all we got 22 minutes to where this stuff is going and this is actually like a brand new house like if you look on google to what his house looked like it shows that it's a brand new project like you got wood boards the uh outer of the house is all wood he said it's finished now so yeah this guy knows how to handle his finances you know me working with him he's actually used to live in a one bedroom apartment with i believe two children and they all slept in the same room in a one bedroom apartment and this is why i like doing work like this because you get to meet new people and see like their work ethic people from continental asia have a crazy work ethic and an insane approach to finances I really don't see Asian people complain about anything when it comes to finances because they sacrifice first, they build up, and now this man is building his own freaking house in New Jersey. That's what we need to learn from. Uh, well, I thought I, I pressed the uh, record button when I had put the uh, the camera up here because it actually sticks to the top of my roof. Take which I just right out. circle. Uh, yeah, but I it's definitely confirmed he was actually spending a year building that house when the last time I saw him I'm like I haven't seen him in almost, a, almost a year So yeah and These are like all these properties are brand new Look, All these houses brand new people who migrate to this country are winning because they come here work they don't buy any of this nonsense like cars clothes luxury designer goods none of that pull the money together buy or build a house that's the formula all right back for round two So now we're actually done with one house. Now we have to go back to the storage because he wants to put all these boxes in the storage unit. Then we gotta drive to North Brunswick, get the stuff from his house, you know, from his apartment, and then put it all back in storage. So I was actually talking to him about the house. He said that he paid, well, he uh, the house was $925,000. He had put down 20%, and he said he actually sold his previous vehicle so he can make more money from that but he downgraded in vehicle so that he has, has enough money to buy the house now question how many of y'all would do that downgrade your car so you can buy a house for your family matter of fact i think i'd have a hard time doing that too even though my cars ain't worth that much and he had a nice car too he had a fully loaded Volvo XC90, one of the newer models. Sold it, got a GMC Acadia.
driving back and forth today, but you know, we're probably gonna agree on like maybe 400, 500 for the day. We'll see. All right, we hit the last location. Let's hurry up and get this stuff done because I'm getting tired. All right, so hopefully you guys can see me. Uh, we got one more trip to do. Just gotta drop this stuff off at a storage unit. That is it for the day. Not gonna be recording that because it is like dark out here. So, you know, we got to end it quickly and early than expected because I don't have any lights in the back of my van. So, we got 35 minutes to the storage. We done, let's go. All right, boys and girls, the van is finally empty. And I didn't even tell him my price. He just gave me four hundred dollars. I'm like, cool. I'll take that. I'm happy with that. Oh, it was a long day, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see y'all next time. Have a good weekend, y'all.